What's going on guys, Logs here, and today we're getting you your first V2. That's right, we're gonna be walking you through what I do when I go for V2s, my tips and tricks, gameplay, all that stuff. What guns to use, what kill streaks to use, what pacing to use, all that fun stuff we're gonna be talking about today. And I'm gonna be playing live and telling you what I'm thinking, what I'm, what's going through my head, what I do for strategy on how to get V2 rockets. So let's just jump right into the game. We're gonna switch it over. First things first, people always ask, what game mode and pacing should you play? So first starting out, uh, I would always recommend people to play tactical. That's usually 6v6, and that's just the standard Call of Duty. You know, everyone knows 6v6. Everyone's been playing it for years if you play Call of Duty. Once you get up to Assault and Blitz, it just gets a little bit more chaotic, and the more enemies means the more ways you can die. So if you're playing Blitz, you're gonna die a lot more. You're gonna get killed off those kill streaks. So starting out, I would always recommend recommend people to start on tactical. If I play tactical every single game, I can at least drop a V2 two out of the five games that I play because tactical is really, really easy because you can get spawns down, you can, you know where enemies are at, so it's a lot easier to get nukes on tactical. But for the sake of the video today, with a lot of players, I always like to play Blitz, so we're gonna be playing Blitz today, um, but I still think tactical is the easiest game mode or pacing, I should say, for nukes. All right, as far as the game modes go, I love Domination. Domination lasts the longest, and you can always tell where people are gonna spawn because of the flags. Once you get into like, you know, patrol or hard point, these two game modes last long and they're good for nukes. But the sad thing is if you're doing really well and you're calling in kill streaks, your team is gonna jump on the flag. It's gonna end the game super quick. So it kind of depends on your team, how objective they are or the enemy team, how objective they are. So patrol or hard point is also good, but I find that the games end really quickly. Team deathmatch and kill confirmed. I mean, you can nuke on these, but it, it they go by so quick. So. I wouldn't recommend these two. Um, I would just stick to Domination, which is what we're gonna be playing today. As far as your guns, you can literally nuke with any gun in the game. I've nuked with the Intra Burst. I've nuked with the Type 100. The MP40 and the STG are the two best guns in the game. So if you wanna get easy nukes, use one of these guns. They're super overpowered and they're, they're never gonna be nerfed to the ground, I don't think. So these two are always a safe bet. But today I'm gonna be using the Thompson because I only have it at level 20, so it's really, I don't have it maxed out at all. So I don't have too many attachments. So I'm just gonna walk you through that you can literally nuke with anything, even if it's not maxed out, max level. This is the class setup we're gonna be using today. It's not a crazy class setup. It's not really good. It's just a gun that I wanted to use and I haven't used it yet. As far as perks go, I always like to go ghost because you stay off the radar and you don't be seen the minimap and that's huge when you're going for nukes you're not gonna get killed off forward intel is literally if i could choose one perk it would be forward intel this is how important this thing is it shows you where the enemy team is spawning so it shows you where they're going to be spawning where you can kill them at and it shows you how to basically spawn trap them Scavenger is good because I run out of ammo a lot and along with Scavenger, I also like to use the ammo box, supply box. So this thing is vital. Uh, you can use anything really, but I suggest ammo box if I'm playing, but uh, yeah, that's just me. Kill streaks, you really don't need to use any lethal kill streaks when going for nukes. I rock spy plane, dogs, and advanced UAV, aka local informants. The only reason I use dogs is if we're losing really bad or if I wanna get them into a spawn trap so I can know where they're spawning at, that's when I use dogs. But other than that, I really don't use dogs all that much. I don't even call them in during the game. Yeah, guys, just to show you that I am a talking business and I do know what I'm talking about, I'm gonna show you my nukes, aka atomics. So there you go guys, I have 62 Atomics, which means get 25 kills without dying. So I have 62 nukes in the Vanguard right now. So yeah, it's pretty good. I mean, I'm not the best in the game, but I'm not the worst. So I just wanna show you that I know what I'm talking about. Other than that, we're just gonna start searching and uh, yeah, we're gonna jump into a game. All right, looks like we got Bokage Dom 12v12. So this is uh, gonna be a good game where I can drop the nuke live for you guys. I really like Bokage. I think this is one of my favorite maps. I would put it in top five probably. Um, I do like the Castle and Dome remake. I do like Numa Numa a lot, but Bokage is up there. I think it's great for, you know, pretty much every game mode, certain destroy too. All right, let's see what we can do. I always love to get A and B flag or just two flags. As long as you have two flags um, with the B flag included, uh, it's always good for domination. You can usually spawn trap. You can usually tell where they're gonna be spawning at. 
So enemies are probably going to be coming through here because they spawn. They spawn at sea. And if you can see on the mini map, there's little those little squares, the red squares. That's not actually wall hacks or cheats. I know it's surprising, right? Um, but that is uh, actually showing me where the enemies spawn. So it's the forward intel perk. That's why I was talking about earlier how it's so important because you can actually see where enemies spawn. So it helps you uh, control the map, control the name of the game. And I'm gonna try to get around here. Guy got a peek. Oh yeah, he's dead. So the Thompson's really good up close, but man, it suffers at range. I find myself uh, really struggling to get range kills. Okay, like right there, I probably should have died. I'm surprised I didn't, to be honest, but... Ah, I got a little too greedy there, but uh, yeah, see how we have B and C A flag? That means we, they're all going to be spawning at C, and even if they aren't spawning at C, I will see where they're going to be spawning because the uh, forward intel perk. It's very crucial, guys. It's, it's one of the best perks in the game. I suggest using it if you're not. I don't need to call in my dogs because we uh, pretty much know where they're spawning. I would only call my dogs in if uh, I didn't know and we wanted to purse them back. I don't want them to be though, so... Sorry, bud. I know you were just trying to cap the flag, but... I can't let you do that today. Though it's kind of quiet right now. I don't know... The enemies are pushing out, or... What the deal is. What?! Did he just blow up the arm? Oh my god, he blew up the ammo box. No! That's one thing you gotta look out for, guys. If you're using an ammo box, it is explosive and it will kill you, so be sure to watch out for that. So, we still have a lot of time left, especially since, uh, you know, it's domination. If they start capping B flag and we let them, then it's gonna even add more time, so domination's really good. It's the, it's the longest, uh, game for noobs, I think. Oh my gosh. I probably should have died there, if I'm being completely honest. Okay, we're on an 8. I will have to keep the streak up. Should have died there too. Drop down. See if I can get behind him again. Whew. I'm gonna plant this just because I need more uh, explosives. Explosives and gas grenades. Alright, advanced UAV. Perfect. Literally perfect. Literally perfect right now. Okay. We're gonna drop here, boys. Trust me, we're gonna drop here. Look, he's looking for me. You see that? He's blowing it up because he thinks I'm still there. See, this is this is why you have to move around a lot. You notice how I never really stay in one spot for a long period of time? You always have to constantly move because people are going to start hunting you. If you kill them more than once, they're going to start hunting you. Oh, wow. Surprised I got killed there, to be honest. This is a really good camping spot, by the way. I haven't seen this being used too much. What just killed? No. All right, boys, we have Castle Domination 12v12. And dude, the remake for Castle just looks so good. This is one of my favorite maps in the game. I'm so happy that they actually remade some of the World of War maps. It's good to see World of War get some love because it's my favorite Call of Duty of all time, and I really think it deserves more love and support than it gets. Alright, so they just cap A, which is where we spawn somehow. I don't really know what's going on with my teammates, but it's fine. As you can see on the top left, we got the uh, forward intel really helping. Okay, this gun sucks for headshots and long range. Ready. 
No. I was to stick him there, but I couldn't. Alright, so they're all spawning up top. Oh yeah, I'm about to flank them hard. Be a dangerous flank though. Oh my gosh, there's so many, dude. There's so many. I'm not pushing because I don't want to die. Okay, I'm gonna push a little bit. What the hell is that? Oh, I got local informants. Okay, this is where it's gonna get good. See how we're spawn trapping them horribly? This is what I like to see. Oh, I missed that gas. I threw that so poorly. Oh, he's up top top. Okay. I think I can get this flank here. Whoa! What was that? Friendly attack Who just shot me? Oh no, they're all right there, aren't they? Oh my gosh, I'm on 21. I'm afraid to push. I'm afraid to push, boys. I need more, oh, I need more bullets. Or not more bullets, I need more explosives. That's just, oh, 22. <laughs> 24, I need one more. I need one more. Oh my God, I died right after. Oh my gosh, I got it. Let's go. All right, I'm calling in my nuke. Dude, this, I love the castle remake, man. This is one of my favorite maps in the game. But that's gonna be the tactical nuke with the Thompson. Hope you guys enjoyed this video of me talking you through my V2 rockets and how I get them and stuff. Um, if you want more videos like this, more tips and tricks, just leave a like and a comment. Yeah, okay, guys, other than that, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you want more, and I will see you guys in the next one. Deuces.